Headed home, we pass through the neighborhood of Aluche. The entire way, the route goes alongside a nice park with the unimat. Hey, what are you staring at? Anyway, the park has the rather boring name of Parque Aluche. I'd like to focus on one particular structure in Parque Aluche, which is the Auditorio Parque Aluche. That's the best they could do. Here are two suggestions for better names. Auditorio Severo Ochoa, named after the Nobel Prize winning biochemist, or Auditorio Cristina Pedroche, named after the Queen of the Chonis. A couple of summers ago, I was walking by at night and they were showing Black Panther there for free. Anyway, the structure is interesting mathematically. The roof has what is called negative Gaussian curvature. Very roughly speaking, if you slice a negatively curved surface with two perpendicular planes like this, you'll get a curve in one of the planes that arcs down. And in the perpendicular plane, you'll get a curve that arcs up. So they arc in opposite directions. Whereas if you slice a positively curved surface with two perpendicular planes, you'll get two arcs that face in the same direction. Even more roughly speaking, a positively cur curved surface looks like a dome, and a negatively curved surface looks like a Pringles. Actually, that would be a good name for this auditorium. Auditorio Pringles, or Auditorio Pringles. Okay, so the roof here is negatively curved, which is weird. 99% of roofs are planar. Occasionally you see a domed roof, but off the top of my head, I can't think of another negatively curved roof that I've seen. Why? Maybe they're hard to build. There's a reason why the vast majority of buildings are rectangular. Wooden boards and steel beams are long, straight, and rectangular. Sure, curvy buildings exist and look cool, but they're super expensive to build since each piece must be custom made. This is a proposed skyscraper for Manhattan. Back to our auditorium. So was it super complicated and expensive to build? It is definitely curvy. The thing is though, this structure has another interesting property. It's a special type of surface called a ruled surface. This means that it could in fact be made from straight bars of wood or metal. To convince you of this, I've tried to recreate this shape using only pencils, the straightest thing I could think of, and some parts I whipped up on my 3D printer. I made two different designs. Both are negatively curved ruled surfaces, but they are technically different mathematical objects. I used OpenSCAD to design the parts and Cura, Cura to get them ready to print. Here's the first result. The mathematical name for this is a hyperboloid of one sheet. You can see how it looks curvy even though it's made of only straight pencils. The auditorium roof would only be half of this object sliced top to bottom and laid on its side. The second one is called a hyperbolic paraboloid. This is probably the shape they used for the actual auditorium. I'm standing in your house, serving justice to a man who stole your vibranium and murdered your people. Justice your king couldn't deliver. I don't care that you brought the clock. Only reason I don't kill you where you stand is because I know who you are. So if they're easy to build, why don't we see more negatively curved roofs? Maybe because they're ugly and look like Pringles.